Hello, my name is David Ilsley and I'm a senior engineer with Informatica. This video follows the Rule Builder overview video and shows some additional features available when creating a rule specification in Informatica Analyst. In this video I'll demonstrate how to use a reference table to validate or correct inputted data and how to use an existing rule in a rule statement, thereby allowing co complex rule specifications to be created using rules as self-contained building blocks. I'll also show how to pass a value returned by one rule statement to the following statement. After logging into Informatica Analyst, we can start by creating a new rule specification. We'll call this rule specification person check, as we'll be checking if the input values indicate a valid person. I'll choose the location that we want to save the rule specification and add a brief description of what the specification is to be used for. After selecting the rule set, I can then add the required inputs. In this instance, I'll add a name input, which will be a string, and an age input, which will be an integer. To build the rule logic, I'll start by selecting the name value as the input. I'll choose an operator of is within, leave the condition as function, and then click on the ellipsis symbol and select reference table. I'll then browse for the reference table I want to use. In this instance, I'm going to be checking if the name entered is within a list of first names. Note that the reference tables to be used should be pre-existing and accessible to the user creating the rule specification. After clicking OK, I can then set the action for the statement. In this case, I'll use the rule that I created in the overview video to check the age and return the age category. I will set the appropriate input for the age and click OK. We are then able to take further action on the data returned from this statement by opening the statement menu and choosing add rule statement using result. This sets the input automatically to the result of the previous statement. I can then ensure that the value is not null and then I can use another function in this case to convert the case to uppercase. I select previous as the input, which is the value returned by the previous rule statement, and click OK. I can then set the value to be returned if the previous statement had not passed, which would be if the information entered was either incomplete or the name was not found in the reference table. We can then test the logic to make sure that the rule specification is returning the expected results before we compile the rule so that it's available for use elsewhere. This completes a demonstration on the use of some of the additional features available in the Rule Builder tool in the Informatica Analyst. If you have any comments or suggestions, please contact us at one of the addresses shown. Your feedback is always welcome. Thank you for watching and for your continued use of Informatica products.